There's this concept of marriage that two hearts become one. And I have to be honest, as I reflected on the two of you, I thought that doesn't feel right. That concept seems to subtract from what is so beautifully expansive about your story. That over four years ago, your history, strengths, values, your hard work, and your uniqueness led your souls to recognize each other. Over time, you became vulnerable and built trust, and then you became essential to one another. As much as we're celebrating the love story of two people, we're also celebrating that along with your children, today five hearts become one family. Asia, we have came a long way. From me paying you and Amber and pennies to do stuff, <laughs> riding the big wheel down the hill and the old lady always complaining about it, sneaking to Walgreens and grandmother always catching us, chasing down the ice cream truck, pay less shoes, first crushes and breakups, getting ready for dances, first tattoos, even though this is still your only one, living together, my wedding, and now you marrying the love of your life, and to so many more things to list with plenty more things to come. Even though so many things change in life, one thing that has never changed is my love for you. Everybody quiet. Because this is the only man that ever asked me for my blessing to be in my sister's life. <laughs> and I didn't realize it, but it meant so much to me at that point. Because I never heard it before and I didn't know how to respond to this man. I told him, if my sister's happy, I love it because I know how fucking hard life can be. Everybody in here has been beat down in some way. So when you get a little slice of heaven, you gotta hold on to it. You gotta cherish it and never let that shit go because it can be taken from you. You need to say that in front of everyone tonight. Oh my God. We're not again. When I was getting to meet Joe, Asia was bringing him over to my house and he was getting to know the family and I think it was the impress me phase, you know? There was nobody else but me to impress, so. He was challenging me to a barbecue and, you know, showing me his old schools, this, that, and the third, you know? And I was like, okay, I got a little something in my garage, it's good, we, we all right. <laughs> but at the end of the barbecue, he was thanking me for my hospitality and he said, I appreciate you welcoming me in and I wanna know if you would give me your blessing to marry your sister. So I didn't know what, I didn't know what to say to him, you know, at that point. But I told him today, I said, you know, I, I appreciate that sentiment. You know, you said something to me that was, that was never uttered before and it made me feel like my baby sister's gonna be in good hands. God bless your union. And God bless you for the man you are. Because I was confident and comfortable giving my, my baby sister's hand to you. As much as it was bittersweet, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is the beginning of something new. And thank you for this opportunity in my life because I understand what it is to lose something. So, so when you have that and it's gone, you appreciate those things so much more. Joe, do you take Asia to be your wife, promising to love her, comfort, honor, respect, and care for her for the rest of your life? I do. Asia, do you take Joe to be your husband, promising to love, comfort, honor, respect, and care for him for the rest of your life? I do. Joe and Asia, your tribe just got much bigger. It is my great honor, by the powers vested in me from the state of Minnesota, to pronounce you husband and wife. Y'all can smooch.